Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Oh, it's been a beautiful day today. I was able to get out and do some shopping today. I had to go back to our phone company. We have Metro PCS. We've been with them for about seven, eight years. We just bought phones like six, seven months ago. And my husband's phone started acting up terribly the last two months. So I go over there. I end up staying there like an hour and a half. And he said, oh, this phone has been recalled. I said, yeah, no wonder. My husband couldn't receive calls. It was hit and mess. It was no spam. That was kind of nice. So anyway, $239 later, I walk out with a new phone. Not a happy camper about that. It's just a throwaway society today. Nothing is made to last. Have you encountered that? I'm sure you have. It's very discouraging. And you just feel like your money's going out the window and it keeps going out the window. And that's never pleasant, but sometimes it's necessary, I guess. But my dealer did give me a great deal on a Samsung tablet. It was like $50, $60, but I get $50 back in a gift card for there's a special going on that he does only for special customers, of course. <laughs> no, true. He says he's some of my favorite customers, we do give some pretty good deals. So that was, that was kind of nice. And then I went to Salvation Army and I got me a pair of beautiful sneakers. They're purple and they're yellow and they're just the coolest ones. And I wore them home. They were so comfortable. But then I also got these little critters. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? This is deer foam. Machine washable. And look at that inside. Oh, they are so cozy and comfy. I got these for like $3. So that was my find for today. Plus I picked up a few movies that we didn't have. They were 50 cents each. And I bought a book called Surprise. I bought a book. Why I Believe. I thumbed through a few things in here that I found interesting. And chapter 8 is Why I Believe in Christ. And one of the questions is, why do people believe in Christ? So I think I'm going to read through this for, for a future, some devotionals out of here. Some very, very good stuff. And I love when I get used books. 50 cents each, you can't go wrong. This one was given to a woman named Becky. Perhaps this will help give you some of the answers you search for throughout your life. We love you very much, Grandma and Grandma Ward. So this was given as a gift. What a nice gift to give somebody, especially if they don't know what they should believe or why they believe the way they do. Yeah, so I think that was pretty cool. And then I went to Kroger's and then I finally found my way back home. I found out today that my daughter is having Thanksgiving at her house, which is always a great pleasure and a lot of fun. So I asked, oh, okay, that's great. What do you want me to bring? I already knew the answer before I asked. So, oh, fudge. Hands down, Mom. You got to make your fudge. I said, okay, I'll make the fudge. Every year at Christmas time, I usually make it, but I guess they're hungry for it right now again. Uh, I make it from scratch. And it does turn out really creamy and good. It's like, mm, yum, yum. So, yeah. So, that's all tucked in. And I do have a devotional for you today. I want to start out with a question from our Everyday Inspiration. And you can answer this in the comment box below. What sermon slash Bible passage teaching has influenced you most? What sermon or Bible passage teaching has influenced you most. Wow. I know for me, I'm going to have to think on that one. There, there's, there's so many. That's a good question. I'm interested to hear your answer on that. All right. I did work on my corner to corner scarf for my grandson. I'll show you that after a little bit. I'm feeling like crocheting again. And... It was good to sit yesterday for a few hours while I listened to some YouTube videos 
it kind of, it's, it's just so relaxing and it really calms my spirit. All right, let's get to our devotional. Get out of your shell. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Clamshells. We all wear them. They're better than body armor, thick as an army tank. Think of them as bunkers for the soul. Inside, there's no hunger or orphans, poverty or injustice. We come by our shells honestly. We don't intend to stick our heads in a hole. We want to help. But the problems are immense, complex, and intense. Let God unshell you. And when he does, Make careful exploration of who you are and the work you have been given, and then sink yourself into that. Try starting with two questions. With whom do you feel most fluent? Teenagers, drug addicts, the elderly? I think I'm most fluent around the elderly. I love helping seniors such as myself and... It's just that caring that sometimes elderly people need and are so amazingly thankful for. You may be tongue-tied around children, but eloquent with executives. This is how God designed you. Do you remember the Star, Star Trek Enterprise, Catherine Picard? He was not ever comfortable around children, but he was real comfortable with his um it was number one and the people on the bridge. He was very comfortable giving them orders, but not so much around kids. God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. For whom do you feel most compassion? God doesn't burn us up. God doesn't burn us burden us equally. He fashions our hearts individually. When does your heart break and pulse race? When you spot the homeless, when you travel to the inner city? Wow. Yeah, I think when I see the homeless, when I see the inner cities, there's just so much pain and anguish. And anything that we can possibly do to help them through their struggles and pray for them. And when we're able to give food and clothing. It's amazing what happens when we get out of our shells and go to work for God. I've always been an outspoken person. I've never had any trouble speaking up. Sometimes I had to learn to hone it down a little bit. Sometimes not everybody wants to hear your opinion. <laughs> and I was good at giving it. Let me tell you, I was really good at giving my opinion. But I like to dig. I like to turn things over in my mind. I like to really get the full... Uh, impact of what I'm reading and what I'm doing and I'm, I'm a digger and I like being a digger so what do you do to get out of your shell and what what does your heart break when does your heart break and pulse race I know sometimes coming out of the grocery store when I see an elderly person struggle getting their groceries in the car I run up to them and ask can I help you put that in your in your vehicle? And I say, oh, yes. You know, people aren't going to bite you. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's it for our devotional today. Get out of your shell. Okay, and that came from the Max Lakato. God is with you every day. All right, now let me grab my scarf. Well, my grandson's scarf. Okay, this is a corner-to-corner -corner scarf. I made it a lot wider now, so it really should cover his face. I mean, see that? <laughs> That's going to cover it this time. I took apart the other one, but I love the corner-to-corner. -corner. Right now, I'm building up on this edge. I'm adding the six, keep building upward. And then I decrease on the other side, and you have your other side going straight up, as you can see here. See how that's going straight up? And this one is still growing. I think it's just magic when you get done with these, how all of a sudden, when you get it to the length you want, you start 
decreasing and all of a sudden they just meet perfectly. It's a lot of fun. And this Oak Moss, this is Everyday Inspiration, my premier Oak Moss. Um, it's one of my favorite yarns. It is a discontinued yarn. I usually have to go on Amazon to find it. And um, or so, Premier stopped carrying the four ply. They now have all DK in the variegated and stuff. I was really saddened when they when they dropped the DK weight because it was it still is one of my favorite yarns to use, and I can still find it. And I've got a lot in my stash. So, and speaking of stashes, this is coming in my mind. Remember, November twelfth, we're going to draw a winner of our Name It Claim It giveaway. And next Monday, we're going to do the last overview of the book of Revelation. That's our last book. We went from Genesis all the way to Revelations. And we're going to have a special giveaway for that to celebrate. And then we'll go from there. All right, everyone. You have a blessed day in the Lord. Right now, here it is 415. About another hour and 15 minutes, it will be dark already. Yeah, that falling forward. Mm, that's a toughie for us. But... We're managing like, wow, it's only 5.30 and it's dark outside. I'm not used to that. It's going to take some getting used to. All right, everyone, you have a blessed day. And Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another great devotional on God, crochet, and chatter. Bye for now.